I remember how to do this. How hard could it be? Okay, I got this. In this week's video, we get back on track and I talk about things that have gone on in the past little bit. And I also talk about my biologic and psoriasis treatment going forward. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right back at it. See, I told you I wouldn't forget anything about doing a weekly vlog. That's better, a little bit less framed on the eyeballs. So clearly it's been a little bit of time since I've done a video. And I could stand here and I can make excuses and whatnot. Basically, I was fatigued and I had almost zero want to do anything in my life. Uh, so the last thing I wanted to do was set up a video, record a video, try and be interesting, have a good demeanor, and I just, I lost interest completely uh, in most aspects of my life though. So it wasn't just doing the video, I stopped doing a lot of things. So um, yeah, basically I'm getting back on track. Uh, I'm getting rid of the fatigue. Um, I did have a sinus infection in there. Did have vacation, I'm not gonna say I didn't. Uh, we had a two week vacation and that's where we kind of left off and we were using the vacation to get on track. And we did actually, we did a lot of walking. Uh, we changed up our, our eating habits and whatnot. So we got a little bit more regular, but everything just fell off the rails again. So uh, yeah, I, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Um, some things that have gone on in my life in the meantime, uh, one of them being I uh, got up to the full dose of uh, Jardiance, which I talked about before I'd left, or I think I had. Um, so that's a diabetic medication and that's been doing really, really well at helping to maintain my blood sugar. Uh, so I've been, I'll be honest, not behaving a hundred percent. Uh, I've had a few bad days. I've had a little bit of ice cream. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit more than I should have. Uh, things like that, I've been kind of just spoiling myself. And I recently just saw my diabetic doctor and I was expecting my A1C, which is the three month uh, kind of average blood sugar uh, test. Uh, it's a blood test in case you weren't sure of that. Um, so I went kind of expecting it to be really off and being not told off, but them being disappointed in me and us going forward a little bit better. Uh, my A1C was like spot on. So I got a six, which uh, you want in between five and six, uh, typically for an A1C, if you're gonna be in the perfect level. Uh, and that's what your blood sugar should be on a regular basis. Um, obviously everybody's a little bit different. People have fluctuating blood sugars and some people you have to watch out for low blood sugar, not being an issue with me. So um, we're aiming to get me as low as possible. Um, so yeah, I even not behaving I, I was on, on target. So if I behave, that would mean I could probably lower a medication at one point, uh, or my body would just possibly lose more weight uh, because I wouldn't be eating as much uh, sugar calories and whatnot. Um, speaking of that with weight, uh, we'll get into numbers and all that in a bit. Uh, you might be able to tell my face is a little bit thinner than it was, and it is. Um, definitely I've, I've trimmed down a little bit, uh, but we'll get onto that in a bit. The biggest update I need to do, and this is actually a very recent update. Uh, last time we spoke, I was on Sky Rizzy and basically in the time since the last video, we upped my frequency of dosage because when we got to the 12 weeks, my psoriasis had started coming back pretty badly and my dermatologist and I, we discussed it and we decided to up it to every eight weeks. Uh, so the eight week mark was last week and due to a delivery error, I never actually received the injection. So I was gonna pick it up literally the day I needed to take it. 
Uh, normally I get it about a week before. It gets delivered to my house uh, and I keep it refrigerated for about a week. Uh, in this case, I was gonna pick it up the same day I was gonna take it. it. Also just so happened, I was actually seeing my dermatologist the same day. He looked at my skin and I looked at my skin and we both realized that the eight weeks wouldn't cut it. Um, and on his advice, which I do agree with, uh, he advised that it might be time to change up uh, because it's not showing enough uh, coverage. Uh, so basically, Sky Rizzi, although I loved it for the fact that it had no site reaction, no fatigue after the injection for me, it was a great drug, uh, but it didn't work in my situation. So uh, we had to change up to a new biologic. So for those of you keeping score at home, that's number six I'm now on. So let's fill you in on what I've got. So bear with me. There. I'm not even gonna cut that part out. I literally just turned around and grabbed it. So this is what I'm on. Uh, I've redacted all of my medical information because uh, you guys don't need to know that. And basically uh, it's, I've chosen not to go an auto injector. I like the manual injector because SkyRizzy was a manual injector. I got used to it. I actually like having the control of being able to put it in uh, at the pace I want. Uh, auto injectors I find have a little bit of pain right at the end uh, because they're usually a pressurized uh, vessel just slightly and there's an air bubble in the vial and when that pushes through right at the end it hurts just a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like a bee sting in, in equivalence. I take, there's two injections in here. It's a very big box to be honest. Um, it kind of reminds me of like getting like RAM or something from a computer store because it's even got the, uh, the special seal on the side. But uh, there's two injectors in here. I take two every two weeks um, and basically that should keep down the psoriasis. That's the goal. Um, no idea how well it's going to be working yet. I've only just taken my first dose. So we're going to have to kind of see from there. Um, by the time you guys see this video though, I would have taken the dose. So uh, that's why I'm saying I've taken the dose recently. I actually haven't taken the dose as of recording this video. So um, I will be taking that. And by the time you guys see this video, I would have had my first dose. And I will keep you updated on how that goes and whether there's any site reactions or anything. Um, I've already done multiple of me injecting myself videos. I'm not that interested in doing this. Simzia is an older medication as well. It's not new on the market. Uh, with SkyRizzy, I was first in Canada. The US didn't even have it at the, that point. Uh, so I wanted to help out those of you that are possibly gonna be going on SkyRizzy. Alrighty, so let's update you on my measurements. So I don't have the information for what I was last. I could go back, I could watch my old videos, get down the information. I don't care. I, I know I'm down from where I was. Uh, I'm just gonna start fresh from this point. So my weight is 305.8 as of today, which that's good. That was a thumbs up, sorry, it was off screen. Uh, basically, I was kind of around the 310 to 312 mark last time I was doing videos. Yes, I spiked down. Uh, I think I did spike down to about 307, 306. Uh, but it wasn't steady. Uh, 305 is me not really trying on food. Uh, I am working on more exercise and whatnot. I've got a, a cool new step counter wristwatch thing. Uh, I may do a little bit of a review on it. I'm still kind of figuring it out. Um, it's kind of keeping me motivated. If I don't move for about an hour because I'm on the computer or whatever, it tells me to do something. So that's kind of helpful. Uh, it's also nice I don't have to carry my phone around to get all my steps because uh, from time to time I forget it in a place and then it just doesn't count and then it's really annoying. Uh, so having the watch on, it's really light, it's really handy and it keeps track of my steps. 
Um, it also does a few other cool things. So I may do a review on that, we'll see. Uh, my neck, 20 inches. I've always been a decently big necked person, you can see, I've, uh, it's a decent size. Uh, 20 inches though means I can wear some of my nice dress shirts and I can do up my tie. Now that being said, that fluctuates with sodium, like water weight is a big issue with my neck. So if I eat something that's extremely salty, let's say I have Chinese food, my neck could be up to 21 again. Uh, it fluctuates quite a bit, but I was kind of sitting around 20.5 before. Uh, I double checked, I even gave a little bit of leeway. I was a little bit under the 20 inches when I was measuring. Um, if I did it in millimeters, it'd be a lot more accurate, but uh, most of you guys like inches, so I've stuck with that. Uh, my chest, 54, which is what it always is. Uh, my waist, 54, which I believe is what it was before. And my hips are 49, which I think they were like 50-ish before. Uh, I don't remember. As I said, I'm not going to look back. I don't. I'm not going back. I'm starting from today, and I'm going to work hard from today. So... Uh, those are my numbers starting up again, and like I've got everything going for me. I've got a medication that literally has me pee out sugar, and the side effect is you can lose weight, uh, or that's one of the side effects. Um, I'm on a new biologic, which the other thing is even with Skyrizy not working with uh, my skin properly, my joints haven't been overly affected. So. Like, I've been able to keep up my, my movement. Sorry, I didn't mean to move like that. It probably really screwed the focus there for a second. But um, I'm, like, I've got some good positives going on. Uh, it's just a matter of getting out there, fighting fatigue, fighting the need to just be remain lazy. I need to just get out there and do stuff. So thank you very much. For any of you who watch this video, because it's been so long since my last one, um, I'm going to also try and get better at this whole social media thing. Uh, I've done some really cool photos in the last little while. It's one of the things I have been doing. Uh, we actually went to a cool special event recently. So there might be some videos from that. But uh, regarding my health, we're going to try and keep these videos up to date. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to... I'll go for a walk because it's actually a nice sunny day right now. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye.